All right, so it's just after 10.30, except a little bit later than I actually wanted to, but it's okay. I probably needed it. Anyway, I got my vlog edited. It's being exported right now. And I'm just on my way up to center of the village to do a bit of shopping. But on the way, I'm going to do some Pokemon hunting. Okay, so I just finished all the work here in the center of the village. I've got my clear coat for the statue. I picked up my paycheck from work. And also visited to the bank to make sure I had funds to cover what's going to be coming out soon. Uh, just to head home and clear coat that statue. of sealant on the statue. That should be enough according to the packaging to actually protect this. That looks good. It's actually toned down the difference in the shiny areas between uh, the matte pants and the um, apron, I should say. <laughs> it was going to be part of the shirt, but I made it an apron because it was too obvious that it'd be too long of a shirt when I looked at it again. So, it's now paint. There's an apron, pants, such. I'll let this cure for 24 hours and then it'll be good to go. I just need to add the train right here, but that will be added in before I head to work tomorrow when this is fully cured. Okay, so I just finished working on this graphic. I'm actually quite satisfied with it. I get a little closer. It's actually fleur de lis with beads and uh, cool stripes. So it's kind of like a plaid with another plaid in it. I had this pattern done up in my sketchbook a while back and I thought I'd see about actually creating it. And it turned out a lot cooler than I actually anticipated. Well, it's just after midnight. I thought I'd be asleep earlier than this, but I realized at 7 o'clock I had not done my laundry yet. <laughs> so I just finished that up. And now i got to put it away before any of it wrinkles. Uh, 
fairly productive day. Managed to get the statue all coated with the protectant. Protectant sealer. Needless to say, it's sealed from the weather. <laughs> and just in time too. Because my parents will be taking it to their club's uh, dinner gala. Which they'll be showing it off to the club and asking the club where is the best location for it. And the gnome really represents the club. Mall engineers. Uh, after having a shower and getting my laundry started, I started working on a new pattern that I found a basic sketch in my sketchbook. So completed that in Photoshop. Got it up on Spoonflower for viewing. It won't be for sale just yet because I still have to order a swatch in order to make it viable for sale. But I'll do that when I have 10 patterns total that need to be ordered. It'll work out better in the long run. And But I do have it up on Redbubble in various items. Uh, smallest being a sticker. Largest being bedding. <laughs> so can't get the plain fabric to make whatever you want, but it is available in pre-made items like bedding, some clothing, and oh, notebooks and such. <laughs> Not all the Redbubble products, but the ones that I could definitely create a pattern with. There are some products where it's just bare as a single piece. And there are some products where it's bare as a pattern. <laughs> oh, Lisa got it up on Redbubble, so if you want, you can at least buy some products there. Or I build up nine more patterns for spoon flower, which I will order the swatches for and then make it viable to buy just the actual fabrics. <laughs> anyway, it's late and I should get to bed. So until next time, see ya! Really excited about it. Well, not so much. <laughs> She says it's for the guys anyway, so <laughs> she doesn't have to be too happy with it. But my dad's really excited. He thinks it's neat. And as for the train, here it is. This little toy train that I got from the mystery pack. Once this is completely sealed and a clear sealant making it waterproof I'll epoxy this little guy in place since he doesn't need a sealant <laughs>